Hi, welcome to another video. I've been seeing a lot more excitement around these online AI coding agents, like V0, which many people use. I used it a lot myself before it became more restricted, and after that, I stopped using it. I even did a video on it in the early days of the channel. Recently, I also covered Bolt AI, which is a good alternative but each one of them has its own issues. For example, V0 can only handle basic tasks. It can't install modules or configure API keys, and it's also quite expensive. While Bolt AI claims to fix these issues, it's not perfect either. It gets stuck and can't do everything you'd want. Ultimately, it still comes down to downloading the tools, iterating on them, and then deploying them if you wish to. But then, I had another thought. I asked myself, why are we using things like V0 and Bolt in the first place? Well, the main reason is that these tools have no barrier to entry. For instance, if you're not a programmer, have never seen VS Code, and don't want to install things on your computer, you can easily use V0 or Bolt to generate some cool prototypes, right? So, these tools let you jump right into generating applications without needing to download anything or set up a local environment. Plus, even if you are a programmer, they let you work remotely when you're not at your usual setup, making it all the more accessible. But what if I told you there's a better solution, much cooler to use, and without any compromises? That's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Today, I'll explain how you can set up an AI coding environment in the cloud for free, with all the features you'd ever want. Plus, you can use it just like a regular machine. To do all this, I'll mainly use Google's Project IDX. Now, some of you might know about Project IDX, and some of you might not. Project IDX is a Google project that gives you a full VS Code instance in the cloud for free. It supports all kinds of frameworks, and it's also AI-powered. Yes, and those features are 100% free as well. It's almost like Cursor for the web, with autocomplete and everything. However, it lacks one thing, an automated coding agent that can take prompts and generate code, which is something most of us would want. For that, we can use tools we already use locally, like ClaudeDev, Ader, and others. So, I'll show you how to configure ClaudeDev and Ader with it, and we'll even build some applications together. Because it's a remote setup, you can turn it off when you don't need it, and start it up from any computer whenever you do, which is pretty insane. You can think of this as a remote AI setup that's better than Replit, Cursor, V0, and Bolt AI. So, let's get started and set it up. First, head over to the Project IDX site. Once there, you'll see multiple templates to choose from, like Angular, Next.js, Astro, React, HTML, Python, or anything else. It's pretty amazing. You can also start from scratch if none of the templates suit you. I'll start with a Next.js template here. So, click on it. It will ask you for a project name. Just enter whatever you want. Plus, you can choose between JavaScript or TypeScript, depending on the template. You can also select options like the App Router, Tailwind, and other things like that. Once you've made your selections, click Create, and the workspace will be set up. After it's created, you'll see a full VS Code interface with the Next.js files and a live preview which is really cool because you don't need to manually run the NPM server every time. We can install extensions and everything, but first, we'll need the basic AI features like auto-completion, inline assist, chat, and more. To do this, just click on the Gemini option. When you do, it will prompt you to enable the Gemini feature. Click it, and the Gemini chat will appear. You can do some cool things here, like basic chats, referencing files for context, 
and it can read and explain them. It understands the context of your code base. You can also select a chunk of code and chat about it directly. Plus, you can generate code within the chat interface using the generate command. And once it's generated, you can add it to your file using the insert option. Pretty neat. Auto completion will also start working and you can generate or refactor code using the inline chat option. This makes coding super smooth. And all these AI features are free to use, which is a big bonus. Now, let's get ClawDev installed, and we'll install Aider afterward. To install ClawDev, go to the Extensions tab and search for it. Once you find it, install it. After installation, you'll see it in your sidebar. Click on it, and you'll be asked to set up a provider. You can configure Anthropic, Gemini, or any other provider including free ones like Groke, Sambanova, or Vertex. Check out my other videos for a detailed tutorial on setting up ClawDev and Aider for free. For now, just select whichever provider you prefer and enter the API key or credentials. Once that's done, refresh the window, because it doesn't work unless you do that. Now, let's ask it to create a simple to-do app. Okay. It's working on that. Let's wait a bit. And it's done. We can accept everything here. As soon as you do, you'll see the preview update, which is awesome. Just like the live preview you get with V0 or Bolt. Plus, it has all the editor features like cursor, which is great. The generation works well, and you can keep sending messages and iterating on the code. If you want to see me build a full app with ClawDev, check out the wallpaper app I created with it. I've also posted the entire process in the Members section, where you can watch other uncut versions of my work. Membership starts at just $5, and it supports the channel, so I can bring you more great content. Consider joining. Now, let's talk about Aider. Many people prefer Aider because it's more interactive and generally more reliable. I usually use ClawDev, to code new projects from scratch in Aider to make edits. I feel like Aider gives me more control since it doesn't do things recursively like ClawDev does. To get Aider set up, you'll need to do a few things. First, in the IDX folder, you'll find a quote dev.nixquote file. Make sure Python is listed in the packages, and if it's not, just add it. Once that's done, Refresh the environment and open the terminal. Now, create a virtual environment. Run the command, and it will create a virtual environment for you. You only need to create it once, but you'll need to source it every time you open the terminal. To do that, just run the source command. Once sourced, run pip install aider, and it will get installed. Now, Export the environment variable of the provider you want to use. I'll use Anthropic, so I'll export that variable. Once that's done, run Aider with the model, and you can start using it. Let's ask it to create a Minesweeper game using HTML, CSS, and JS. It's working on it.
and now it's done. Here's the code, and it works well when run. So, this is another great option. You get all the AI features, the editor, and everything for free. And you only need to pay for Aider or Claude Dev if you want full functionality. With some clever tweaks, like using Vertex, you can even use them for free. Plus, because it's all remote, you can use Aider or Claude Dev and directly preview your work, which is great. It's definitely better than V0 and Bolt because it's more cohesive and you can check and change the code easily. You can also share the preview link with others, which is helpful for collaboration. Additionally, you can host your project with one click on Firebase. Just add Firebase hosting and initialize it. I think this is a fantastic option. You can access it from anywhere, the basic AI features are free, and you can easily use automated AI coding if you want, which is awesome. Overall, this is one of the best AI coding setups. It works incredibly well and is easy to set up. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.